Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dreamy, glowing transition effect by dodging and blurring the clips together with adjustment layers. So before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say if you guys are not following me on Instagram, go follow me at Justin Odisho, posting behind the scenes stories, live streams, all type of stuff, and just connect with you guys in the messages. So I've got a couple of example clips laid on the timeline that all just cut into the other. And in order to create this transition effect, we're going to stack a couple adjustment layers. So make sure you have your project media bin highlighted and then go to file new adjustment layer. Here you can press OK and let's right click on the adjustment layer and under the speed and duration, we can adjust the length of it so we don't have to crop it down. So let's just do two seconds in this case. That'll just give us one second on each side of the clip. So I'll click and drag the adjustment layer onto the clip. And now you can see it's exactly two seconds like we said and just make sure it's symmetrical so that there's the same amount on each side. One way you could do that is just use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make sure you're exactly on the cut and then place the clip on the end. If you have snap, magnetic snap on, it'll automatically snap on and then just pull it leftwards until you see the timestamp say minus one second because it's two seconds long. So we're gonna minus one second from each side and you can see we're even on both ends. I know it can be kind of tricky sometimes. So whatever way that you wanna use to get it centered now that we have it, let's add a couple effects onto it. So open up the effects tab and search for an effect called Gaussian blur. You should find it in the blur and sharpen video effects folder. So click and drag this onto the adjustment layer. And now we're going to add a couple keyframes. So since we're already at the cut, let's click the stopwatch icon and increase the blurriness to about a hundred. If you want to go stronger, it'll get more blurry. So 100 to 200, whatever you prefer. I'll do 130 and make sure you check repeat edge pixels. That'll prevent it from getting that vignette where there's no video information. Now let's go to the beginning of the adjustment layer by pulling that tracker, set it back to zero, and then go to the end and set it back to zero. So we've got a blurring transition going on now. You can see it just blurs into the next clip, but now we want to create the intense glow of the color dodge. So let's duplicate this adjustment layer. I'm going to hold Alt or Option and just click and drag it upwards. You could also right click, copy and paste it onto the other track above. And on this duplicated layer, let's set the blending mode to color dodge. Now you could play around with different blending modes if you want, but color dodge is a cool one when you're working with blurs because you get that nice intense color of blues or oranges depending on your video clips. Finally, to smooth things off, we want to add some opacity keyframes so that it doesn't just turn on and off when you're talking about the brightness. So let's go to the beginning of this duplicated adjustment layer and add a keyframe for 0% opacity so it's not turned on yet. And then at the cut, let's add a keyframe for 100 so it's at its peak strength. And then at the end of the adjustment layer here that we're duplicated on, let's turn it back to zero so it fades off smoothly. Now you should have your smooth glowing transition effect. And you can see one second on each side is somewhat slow. It's not like a quick transition but you can adjust the times or squeeze in these keyframes and adjustment layers to make it faster if you prefer. Another finishing touch that you can combine this with is instead of just cutting to the next clip, which can look cool in some cases, like here it adds a bit of a cool flash. In other cases where perhaps the colors don't blend as well, so for example, this where it just goes straight orange to blue, it's kind of a bit more abrupt on the eyes, you could add a slight cross dissolve on the actual clips. So right click on the cut and apply the default transitions, which will be a cross dissolve. And you could stretch that out a bit. So now you don't just abruptly fade. You're also blurring and cross dissolving into the next clip. And it's another alternative option to keep in mind when you're transitioning with maybe some colors that are very different from each other. Also, another cool thing to keep in mind is you don't have to use this as a transition. You could just create a cool pulsing glowing effect on a solid clip with it. So that's how to create that intense glowing effect by combining keyframes, blending options, and adjustment layers. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.